certainly do. We've been dry really for the last month and a half or so, and unfortunately, they come with a risk of severe weather as well. But here's the latest drought status, and uh, we've actually been pretty good for the last year or so. Just in the last month and a half to two months, things have dried out some. And when you factor in, it's been hotter than it usually is, too. Uh, those 90 degree temperatures do a lot of work to dry things out pretty quickly. Areas like Guilford, Alamance County, parts of Randolph, uh, northward into Rockingham and Stokes County, and across the Virginia line, those are the driest areas. You're in stage one drought. And by the numbers, since June 1st, we're down about two and a half inches of rain just in that six to seven week period. So uh, we need the rain. We're going to get some rain today, but will it do enough to help reverse that drought situation? I don't think so, although we could see some gully washing rains coming through. And there's not much action at the moment. A few light showers through Tennessee, Kentucky, and West Virginia from this wave moving northward. Another wave dropping southward will miss us altogether. We got a kind of a gap in the energy where we're seeing more sunshine. That could actually uh, kind of invigorate the system a little bit more allowing some stronger storms to develop later on today. We'll see a much drier air mass coming in beyond this, so we're not expecting any rain until at least the weekend once our rain chance rolls through today. Now, the latest model runs bring some decent rainfall in. It really is very dependent on how much, uh, how many, how quickly these storms begin to flare up. A farther west, more of a shower threat, but as storms get a little angrier later on today, they have a potential to produce some decent rains, even some hail mixing in that could be contaminating some of those lofty numbers in Ashboro and in Greensboro. That's the area that could see strong storms today. I think the primary threat is damaging winds, as it has been the last few days across the Midwestern states, but uh, at least some uh, large hail could be a possibility. It's going to take a little while for this rain to get going. Uh, Mid afternoon into the evening hours will be the primary risk time. Temperatures tomorrow starting out in the 60s, finishing in the lower 80s with a huge drop off in humidity levels. That will stay with us through Friday. We'll start to bring a summertime pattern to come back in. For the weekend, still cooler temperatures with more of a northeast wind and better rain chances for both Saturday and Sunday.